This man was an amicable man who enjoyed the company of young kids. But, unbeknownst to others, he engaged in non-consensual acts and took the lives of numerous boys. He committed 33 homicides and their remains were discovered beneath his residence. This man is John Wayne Gacy, the real-life killer clown. The content of this video is based on various sources. Viewer discretion is advised as the video may contain graphic and disturbing content. Timothy Tim McCoy was just 16 years old when he disappeared while traveling home to Nebraska in January 1972. More than a decade later, authorities made a shocking discovery that would reveal him as the first known victim of none other than the notorious serial killer John Wayne Gacy, also known as the Killer Clown. Gacy was responsible for the brutal murders of at least 33 boys and men between 1972 and 1978, earning him a reputation as one of the most heinous killers in American history. A building contractor by trade, Gacy earned his chilling nickname due to his work as a clown performer at parties, events, and even children's hospitals. Although McCoy was among the few out-of-state victims, he was the only one to be stabbed to death. Gacy's other victims were predominantly strangled, with most living locally, making the case all the more chilling. We cover the most shocking true crime stories and investigations here at Trivia Viral. If you're fascinated by the criminal mind and the investigations that bring them to justice, then this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow us on social media to never miss a video. McCoy was known to be the heart and soul of any gathering and enjoyed pushing the limits of propriety as is common among young people. He had a particular affinity for hitchhiking, a popular activity among adolescents during the 70s. Following his parents' divorce, McCoy split his time between his father in Nebraska and his mother in Florida with their roots in Iowa. The young man spent Christmas of 1971 in the company of his extended family, including his grandparents, cousins, aunts, and uncles, in his hometown. Later, he traveled to Michigan to welcome the new year with his kin. On January 2, 1972, McCoy embarked on a Greyhound bus from Michigan to Chicago, with plans to catch a connecting bus to Nebraska after a 13-hour layover, as reported by the Lansing State Journal. It was then that Gacy came into McCoy's life. McCoy's family were informed of his demise 14 years after the fact when his remains were identified. In 1978, Gacy was taken into custody by the authorities, admitting that he had been driving while intoxicated around Chicago when he encountered McCoy at the Greyhound bus station. Gacy claimed that he and McCoy drove around for a while before heading back to his place where McCoy partook in some food and alcohol. Afterward, Gacy asserted that the two engaged in consensual physical intimacy. However, Gacy alleged that he awoke at 4 a.m. to find McCoy wielding a sharp-edged kitchen tool, making his way towards him. A scuffle broke up between the two, resulting in McCoy's unfortunate demise by falling on the blade. Nevertheless, Nelson points out that McCoy's loved ones vehemently contest Gacy's version of events, including his claims of McCoy's compliance and the details surrounding his passing in Gacy's abode. According to Catherine Ramsland, a DeSales University professor of forensic psychology, Gacy's statement about how he killed McCoy and their supposed consensual intimacy is unlikely to be true. Gacy, being a psychopath, had a narcissistic and confident demeanor that he utilized to lure and manipulate his victims as well as appear believable to authorities. However, he was, in reality, a self-centered fabricator who always pointed fingers at his victims. He was a self-serving liar who always blamed his victims, says Ramsland. Gacy was arrested in December of 1978 after an inquiry into the disappearance of victim Robert Peast by the authorities in Des Plaines, Illinois. Gacy subsequently admitted to murdering 33 boys and young men, burying most of them in a crawl space beneath his house. Prior to his admission, two victims who survived Gacy's malevolence had already come forward and reported his misdeeds to the authorities. In the late 1970s, Gacy was accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting young men in Chicago. The police arrested him after a 19-year-old reported that Gacy had kidnapped him at gunpoint and forced him to engage in sexual acts. 
Three months later, a 27-year-old man reported that Gacy had sexually assaulted him after chloroforming him, but Gacy was only charged with misdemeanor battery. Prior to murdering McCoy, Gacy had already served time in prison for sexually assaulting a 15-year-old boy in Iowa in 1967. Gacy had hired someone to assault the victim to silence him, but he was eventually convicted and sentenced to 10 years in prison, serving only 18 months. In 1971, he sexually assaulted a boy he had picked up from the Greyhound bus station in Chicago, the same station where he would later pick up McCoy. The victim did not appear in court, so the charges were dismissed. In 1986, McCoy's remains were identified after a relative read an article about Gacy and contacted authorities who were able to confirm his identity through dental records. McCoy's family worked hard to bring his remains back to Iowa, where he was buried. Gacy was convicted in March 1980 of the murder of 33 people, which was at the time the largest number of murders ever charged to in person in U.S. history. After spending 14 years on death row, he was executed by lethal injection in 1994. Unfortunately, five of Gacy's victims still remain unidentified. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the darkest depths of the criminal world. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, so don't forget to leave a comment and let us know what you think. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow us on social media for even more content and updates.